we got a crazy idea. Probably one of my craziest ideas to date. So we bought a restaurant, a, a soda fountain actually, the oldest operating soda fountain in the state of Wyoming. Chugwater Soda Fountain was built in 1914 and it's one of the remaining original buildings here in the town. It actually used to be a pharmacy and if you talk to some of the locals who've lived here their whole life, they still call it the drugstore even though there hasn't been a drugstore here in operation for many, many decades. This bar is one of my favorite parts. It is original, it was actually manufactured in England and then ended up in Chugwater after a long trip over the mountains by horse and wagon. And this is what it used to look like on the inside. So you can see it's not as elaborate as some of the soda fountains might have been back east. This is a little scrubby Wyoming frontier town. So this is 1933. And you can see there's some epic snow like we have to this day and there's the soda fountain right there in the background. This picture gets me. This one is Chuckwater, Wyoming, 1916. And there's the soda fountain. It's really hard to see right over there. But all of these amazing old houses are gone now. So it used to be quite the town. There's not a lot in Chugwater these days. There's a lot of ranchers who live around the town. The town itself is pretty small and pretty quiet. There is a Chugwater Chili Festival that happens once a year. That's kind of our claim to fame. And there's a lot of abandoned buildings that kind of call back to the history of what this town used to be. And as illogical as it may seem, like, I just feel a lot of potential here. Over the last few years, there's just been something about the soda fountain that would capture my imagination every single time I drove by it. I just couldn't stop thinking about it. So Christian and I decided that it was time. Now, in case you were wondering, this is wildly out of my comfort zone. I've never owned a restaurant. I've never even worked in food service before. Uh, my first job as a high schooler was at Jiffy Lube. I changed oil. So I don't know what I'm doing, but I know I'm supposed to do this and Christian feels the same way. So here we are, we're jumping in head first. Now the soda fountain's a pretty cool place, but it needs some updates and some decluttering and some new paint and some new floors and some new ceilings. So Christian and I have been working furiously to create some building plans so we can start renovations ASAP. There's a lot of Western history here. The Cheyenne Deadwood stagecoach line ran through here. The bucking horse, the famous silhouette that's on the Wyoming license plate was born here. The Swan Land and Cattle Company originated here, which was one of the big founding ranches during the kind of cattle baron portion of Wyoming's history. And because this town is so small and out of the way, a lot of that history is still pretty raw and untouched, which just I think is so cool. Oh, and in case you were wondering, that little house we've been renovating is only a few blocks from the soda fountain and we'll be posting a reveal video of it very, very soon. And cool little side note, we found out that the people who used to own this house also used to own the soda fountain. The pharmacist lived here at one point, I think in the 50s, so that was kind of a cool little coincidence. But I feel like this town needs someone to believe in it a little bit. So there's a little group of us who do and who have a vision of what it can become all while respecting what it used to be. So I don't know exactly what the future holds, but it makes me pretty excited. 